Good morning, all. Depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio. So today, I am showing you another really fun new deck coming out of Burning Shadows. It's Weavile, and it's Porygon Z. So starting off with Weavile then, we've got a dark Pokemon. You're not really hitting anything for weakness, but that's okay. We don't really need to. There is free retreat on Weavile, which is an awful good bonus. We've seen that on promo Tapu Koko over the past couple of months. And 90 HP is very, very low, but you're only attacking for one energy. So it and it only gives up one prize, so it doesn't really matter that much if you do get it KO'd every turn. And you've got a tiny window where you can still use level ball which is nice resistance to psychic is good for garbador weakness to fighting is a bit rubbish but they're both kind of irrelevant with the minuscule hp here really we can do 70 for two energy but let's face it we're only worried about rule of evil this attack does 60 damage to each pokemon that has an ability both yours and your opponents don't apply weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon. That's a fairly standard thing. Wide Lens would, at least for a tiny time, go through that. But again, you're not hitting anything for weakness, so it doesn't really matter. Although, in Expanded, you can KO every Trevenant instantly using this attack, which is kind of fun. But we're going to be largely staying in Standard here. Now, this is really, really good, because if we look at the kind of Pokemon that have abilities at the moment, it really is a who's who of the current format. Tapu Lele, Shaman before rotation, Vikavolt, Metagross, Octillery, the new Gardevoir, Volcanion, Oranguru, Lycanroc, I could keep going, but the editing when I do that many cards in quick succession is a real pain. So yeah. It's hitting a lot of Pokemon. And because it's a stage one hitting for one energy, you might even want to consider using Wally here. Search it out using Tapu Lele. Evolve straight away. And if you really want the turn one Weavile, and seriously, when you're doing 60 to everything, turn one Weavile is amazing. One thing you really should be considering here is a free retreat basic, like the promo Tapu Coco, so that you either start of a Sneasel or you start of a free retreater. Either way, you're good. And as if you're not got enough good things here already, because you're attacking for a colorless energy, you can literally pair this up with anything you like. Anything can fit in the deck with Weavile. Although don't be running with stage twos because you need the space to make Weavile consistent here. You also don't need a stadium card here. Now there are some you might want to play. You might wish to use Reverse Valley because it allows you to do a little bit of extra damage. And pre-rotation you might want to consider Silent Lab just to hamper your opponent's setup, give you more time to spread that damage around. So, that's Weavile. Stage 1, single energy, 60 to everything that has an ability. Sounds fun. Where does Porygon 2 come in? Porygon 2's got a fairly terrible attack, and it is a stage 2, but Porygon 2 has got the ability Initialize. Essentially, you just devolve all of your opponent's Pokemon by one stage. So the theory here is very simple. Like Decidueye's been doing with Espeon EX, you use Weavile to spread a whole bunch of damage around, and then you use Porygon Z to devolve all of your opponent's Pokemon, and they get KO'd. So let's take one simple example to begin with. You have a Routes that is rare candied into a Gardevoir, Weavile hits it for 60. You then use Porygon to get rid of the Gardevoir. It was rare candied, so it goes straight down to a Routes. Routes only has 60 HP and is immediately KO'd. Now you only take one prize here, but you're getting a Gardevoir GX off the field. That alone is superb. Now, you could always use Espeon EX instead here, but the thing is, that is an attack, and Espeon gives up two prizes. And Espeon is weak to Garbodor, so I I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying you should use Espeon here. In fact, I'm saying the opposite. I don't think you should use Espeon here. The other thing that Porygon Z can do is take prizes in the midterm. So if you evolve up into Porygon, you devolve three or four Pokemon, take three or four prizes, it means that you haven't been end. 
So you take the prizes in your turn so you're less susceptible to end. But it also means that those prizes you take in the middle of your turn can be used to help you do yo fang for the turn that you're currently in. And you could even use devolution spray here to reuse your Porygon Z a couple of times. You could also use Acerola, but do remember that that is only on a damaged Pokemon. So if your Porygon Z isn't damaged, you won't be able to use it. Similarly, you can use Super Scoop up here now that it was reprinted in Burning Shadows, but you've got to try and actually hit the heads on Super Scoop up, and you might not do so. And in a nutshell, that's where the deck comes in. You spread damage with Weavile, devolve with Porygon Z, and hopefully they all go down. And let's go through some examples here. Gardevoir GX, Routes has 60 HP, Kirlia has 80. Now, some lists are using Deancey, which skips rare candy, and some lists aren't. So it really is very simple. If they rare candy from a Routes, one attack will KO them all once they're devolved. If they use a Kirlia, it will take two attacks. Vikavolt's a bit more of a pain because Grubbin has 70 HP. Charger Bug has 90, and the annoying thing is that most people are trying to rare candy their Vika Volts here, but even so, a single attack won't get the KO here. Now, what you could do is Guzma the Vika Volt active, you could then use a Reverse Valley to do 70, and then when you devolved, you'd KO the Grubbin, but that seems like an awful big investment. Decidueye's got a 60 HP Rowlet, which will be KO'd from one attack, and an 80 HP Dartrix, but because of Forest of Giant Plants at the moment, pretty much everyone is just evolving up. People aren't using Rare Candy with Decidueye, so you're going to have to use two attacks here to KO all the Dartrix. Two which I think are particularly good here are Octillery and Lycanroc, because Octillery evolves from a 60 HP Remoraid, and Lycanroc evolves from a 60 HP Zorua, and both of them are stage 1s. So you do a single attack with Weavile, devolve them with Porygon Z, and they're straight off the board, nice and easy, straight away life is good. Metagross, you've got a 60 HP Beldum and an 80 HP Metang, which means if your opponent rare candies, it will take only one attack to get rid of all those Metagross. But because they use Alolan Vulpix, they don't always use rare candy. Metagross do play rare candy, but you'll find that a lot of the Metagross are evolved up manually. Now, they're not always evolved Pokemon here. Volcanion, Tapu Lele, Darkrai GX, all of these have abilities and 180 HP, so free attacks from Weavile will KO all of them. And that's the key here. You don't have to necessarily devolve with Porygon Z. You just need to get enough damage on the field to take down all of your opponent's Pokemon. And it doesn't matter if two or three Weavile go down if you then get three or four prizes from that. One thing you should bear in mind here, all of the GX examples I gave you, all of their basics and stage ones have HP lower than 90. What that means is, or in the case of Charger Bug, exactly 90. And what that means is that if you can hit them with a choice band on Weavile for 90, then you just devolve them with Porygon Z and one attack will be enough, but choice band only does more damage to the active, not the bench. One more fun news here is the Eevees. Eevee's got 60 HP and an ability, so you might be able to catch your opponent here and KO all of the Eevees. Of course, they've also got the energy evolution as the ability, which means you'll need something like a Silent Lab or a Hex Maniac to turn off their abilities. Otherwise, they're just going to evolve up the second they put it down and you won't be able to get the fun times and yeah they are both rotating out so as much fun as it would be to KO four Eevees at once with Weavile good players are only going to bench the Eevee on the turn they attach and evolve so the last question really here is if Weavile Porygon can work we're going to need some kind of secondary attacker not every deck relies on abilities so Galissapod GX Turtonator, as long as they're not silly enough to bench a Volcanium. Alola Ninetales, as long as they're not silly enough to bench the non-GX. Drampa and Garbodor. None of these Pokemon use abilities. And that's a slight bit of an issue here, ladies and gentlemen. So, 
We do need some alternate attackers. Although, fun fact, if your opponent, for instance, plays free SP on GX, and what you can do is reverse it, so you can devolve them all with Porygon Z, and then attack with Weavile, and you will KO all the Eevees, and that could be fun. So, these other attackers, what do they look like? They can use any energy, but we really want few resources. We want Weave Our Porygon to be consistent, so our other attackers need to use few resources and preferably cover some matchups of Pokemon that don't rely on abilities. Well, I've got a few ideas for you. Zygarde does decent damage for one energy, but I wouldn't recommend strong energy because then strong energy can't be used on Weavile, which lowers your chance of hitting an early Weavile. And of course, this would be good for stuff like Drampa. Lycan Rock is especially fun because it can strand a Pokemon in the active using its ability, and then you can spread some damage. And that is, of course, always good in a spread deck like this. Try and strand a Pokemon active while you spread the damage. The thing to remember is that now Guzma's out, every deck is playing more switches, which is slightly less viable. And of course, every time you attack, you'll be doing damage to your own Lycan Rock. So I suppose your other attackers here probably shouldn't have abilities either. But what I really like the idea of here is Tapu Koko. The non-GX just really uses a double colourless energy, and you can play double colourless because it still works with Weavile just fine. You really shouldn't be using Weavile's second attack. And you can just spread a whole bunch of damage around here, hitting the Pokemon whether they have abilities or not. And then you can still use Porygon Z to try and devolve them. Maybe you could even pull a bit of a trick where you use a Ninja Boy from this Tapu Koko into a Necrozma. And then all of a sudden, just do 100 damage to all EXs and GXs, because, you know, as you're devolving with Porygon anyway, Necrozma does a similar thing to Weavile, but is more powerful. Do remember it gives up two prizes, though, so you've got to watch the prize trade. And the free retreat of Tapu Koko here is another big bonus. Don't forget, of course, that you can also use the GX Tapu Koko. It's got no weakness. It's got decent HP. The ability can hoover up all of your psychic energy that you've put on Weaviles and such, and then kind of sweep the last couple of Pokemon that weren't KO'd by Weavile and Porygon. But of course, he's got an ability, so you do need to weigh that up. It is going to take a lot of testing here, ladies and gentlemen, to figure out exactly what the best play here is. But to be perfectly honest with you, I think Weavile Porygon could be good. My correspondent in Japan tells me they've been trying to make it work over there. And, or at least Weavile, I don't know if they've been playing it with Porygon, but I think Porygon's a no-brainer here. Not to mention, of course, the fact that the promo Tapu Koko, again, seems a little bit like a no-brainer. And even the upcoming promo Tapu Koko. For two energy, you can rearrange all the damage counters on your opponent's side of the field. That could work very nicely with this, and then you devolve using Porygon. Or indeed, you devolve, and then you spread around the damage counters. Either is good, ladies and gentlemen. So I like Promo Tapu Coco. I like Promo Tapu Lele. I like the idea of Necrozma. As for the exact best way to play this deck, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to figure that one out yourself. But if you want my advice, Weavile, Porygon Z... Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, and one Necrozma. That way, you're only really using double colorless and psychic energy. But if you've got a better idea, ladies and gentlemen, stick it down in the comments. I would love to hear it. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, at the Wossy, and Twitch at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio for some live action. We've got a stream on Thursday. There's going to be burning shadows. It's going to be fun. 8 p.m. UK time. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus pods, etc. There's a new one going up on Friday, then go and check out patreon.com slash PTCG Radio. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. Mun is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.